Turning now to I Team 8 and the city's attempt to close two troublesome Indianapolis bars. The Marion County Liquor Board voted to not renew their liquor licenses. The move doesn't close the establishments, but sends a message that the city has had enough. I Team 8's Richard Essex is working this story for us. Illegal drugs, shootings, assault, just the tip of the iceberg of the problems that have plagued these two bars. A newly formed IEPD unit provided a mountain of evidence today. Here is surveillance video from Club Onyx on December 12th of 2022. A man came out of the club shooting. Undercover officers captured video of dancers offering patrons a little more than the law allows. A detective from IMPD's alcohol task force said dozens of firearms have been stolen from cars in the parking lot and illegal drugs and liquor were readily available in the restroom if you knew the right person to ask. The task force made two arrests. Charges include dealing marijuana and felony <coughs> possession of a firearm. Two additional warrants have been issued for prostitution. Club Onyx is owned by a Las Vegas-based company. Ryan Carlson told the Marion County Liquor Board that he was the owner's representative and that his mother was the majority stakeholder in the company. Carlson took exception to many of the allegations outlined by police and at one point questioned the use of taxpayer dollars for undercover police to investigate the club leading to a spirited exchange. Did you just say that your tax dollars work? No, I was just making a private comment to my attorney. Yes, I did. So no, no, I didn't. You said that. Well, I said to my attorney, it's a private comment. It's a good point. This is not a good use of tax dollars. I'm having trouble seeing what was on the Trying to figure out how you're running your operation. We shouldn't have to do that. Carlson told the board that Club Onyx is closed and will remain so for at least the next 90 days. He says the entire staff has been fired and the company plans to rebrand the entire operation. Hire new staff, play different music with an attempt to attract a different clientele. The board didn't buy the argument and voted to deny the renewal of the liquor permit. The board also voted to deny the permit for Club Calcutta. The owner says that he has closed the business and is no longer serving alcohol and is looking for a buyer. You will remember that Sequoia Williams was murdered in the club's parking lot. IMPD Captain Christopher Boomershine said that he told the club owner to stop the unlicensed activity or face the consequences. And I asked him to stop the unlicensed boxing, the stripping, the lingerie shows, which he was not zoned for in the city of Indianapolis. That's, that night, that was on a Friday, that night three of my Northwest District officers were working part-time at the business. And what walks past them, but um, three women who were dressed as strippers. The decisions by the Marion County Liquor Board are sent to the State Liquor Board, who ultimately controls liquor license here in the state. It could take months to get a final decision whether to permanently revoke a license. In Indianapolis, Richard Essex, Switch TV, ITMA.